my channel. So today's video is going to be this festival inspired makeup look. Showing you new products in this video that I haven't used on camera yet. I hope you enjoy. If you want to see how to get this makeup look then just keep on watching. Okay so I'm going to moisturise my face first by using the Origins Jingzing NG Boosting Moisturiser. I've had this like since Christmas and I still got like loads left so just going to wrap some of that on. I just done my hair for this video and Luke was like, you've come straight from a three to a five. And I was like, come back there. And yes, I'm wearing a pajama top because YOLO. It's my day off. So and next, as always, I'm going with my Bobby Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I'm loving this. Love it. Love it. Same with this as well, I don't need much. I'm gonna go with the NYX Angel Veil Primer. I really like this primer, but I feel like at the end of the day it does make my foundation cake up a little bit on my nose. But I think that might just be because I have like quite dry skin, so I get like flakiness from my nose, and I think it just emphasizes it a bit. But it's okay when like I initially first put foundation on, but yeah. So for foundation, I'm gonna be using the It Cosmetics. CC Cream SPF 50. I've bought this to go on holidays with, but on holidays I'm gonna be fake tanning. I didn't think this through when I bought this in Fair, so it's like super light. But I've bought the NYX Pro Foundation Mixer in Olive, and this is such a good product, like to darken up your foundation. If you have like fake tan, if you fake tan a lot, to change any of your like light foundations, it's amazing. So. I'm just gonna put a blob of this, but like a pea size amount, and then I'm just gonna squirt like three pumps of that in the back, and then I'm just gonna mix them together. It's made it sort of like a normal colour now. See, look how nice that is. So good, it's like genius. They have them in like white and stuff as well, like orange if you have like more warmth to your skin. So I recommend checking it out. Yeah, I bought this for holiday just because I just want to even up my skin in the days. And like it's got SPF 50, so it's gonna be really good. But yeah, I need to bring that mix foundation mixer as well, just to like darken it up a bit to match my fake tan. See that's building up really nicely and it gives like a dewy finish. So I'm just stippling this into my skin. You want to like like push it into your skin when you're building up the coverage. You don't want to like keep swirling because it's just going to move it all around. Okay so for around my eyes I'm going to be putting the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Undry coverage concealer. I lost this for a very long time but now I've found it. Thank god for that. I got this in like a really light shade though so I should like. Better call Becky with a good hair. I'm sorry. I went to see Beyonce the other day guys and oh my god she is just like the most mesmerizing person ever. Her ass. Her ass was like in my face the whole time and it was just beautiful. I like cried when she came on stage, like I was like bowling. Like I knew her first song would be Formation, but I just didn't realise how, how much of an impact that song would have on me. I was just like, yes, bitch. She was like, yeah, come here again, yeah, I'm gonna say Asley, Asley. And I was just like, Asley, yes, bitch. Right, so I'm just putting this on my actual eyelids. This is just gonna act as my eyeshadow base. You can always use a concealer as an eyeshadow base, it works like just the same. This is very pale though, so. Yeah, and that's another thing. I had a dream that she like called me up onto the stage and she was like, what's your name? And I was like, <laughs> Becky. And everyone was like, what? what? Like, and she was like, get off stage. So I'm like, I'm like kicking myself that my mother is naming me Becky right now. I'm gonna blend all of this in with my Morphe G2 brush. 
the set my eyelids with the NYX finishing powder in banana. Why isn't this working? I'm gonna do my eyebrows with the Anastasia Dip Brow in Caramel. Had to buy some new dip brows because my other ones were like at rock bottom, so yeah. Okay, finally done the eyebrows. The eyebrows are a struggle, to say the least. But uh, for my first transition shade, I'm going to be going into the mod uh, Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love the packaging, but look how dirty it gets. You can tell I've been using it like a lot. Um, I'm going to go in with. Oh, it's upside down. Um, raw Sienna of this palette. So much. Just taking this on my Sigma E40 and just buffing this in my crease. So I just concentrate it in the socket and then I blend upwards as I guess less product on there. So just focusing it in the socket. And then you can kind of like buff upwards. Okay, so I'm gonna be going in with the BH Cosmetics Eyes on the 70s palette. And I'm going to be taking. Oh god. This matte blue shade. It's just like your average blue. I've never used this before, so I don't know what it's going to be like. Oops. Taking it on a Morphe S27 and just putting this right in my socket. Focusing it right in the socket in little small circular motions. You see, they're very small, keeping it small. Make sure you tap off the excess because we have like put our base down. I don't want to like ruin it too much. You can easily like clean stuff up, but I don't want to be messing about with it too much. Just keep on going in, intensifying the colour. Just going back in with the Golden Ochre and Raw Sienna and just going to go over those edges. And going in with the Morphe 35B palette, I'm going to go in with this like teal shade yes that's what we're gonna go for taking this on a Zoeva Luxe Petite crease brush and just gonna further go into that socket and just focus it in, in this little semi-circle go back in with my Morphe S27 no additional product and just buff the edges out and then for my same part, I'm going to be taking this navy blue. My navy blue and just focusing this on the outer edge. And this will just create a little bit more depth. I think it's just see this light little flicking motion really. This no real detail in this, it's just literally just the outer corner. Going back in with my Lux Petite crease and just kind of blending out any harsh lines. Okay, so for the centre of the lid I'm going to take Makeup Geeks Pigment in Liquid Gold, which is a like lime, really intense colour. 
It is like intense, intense. I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of Inglot Duraline and yeah, it's gonna make like a liquid gold and I'm just gonna pop that on, I don't know, I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do, to be honest. Get on a little like eyeliner brush and I'm just gonna Paint a little triangle, I think. Yeah. Let's put like a dot above it. And just a dot above that. Now I'm going to take the Maybelline Master Drama Chromatics Liner in Turquoise Vibe. The Benefit Dandelion Shy Beam. Pop it underneath my eyes. So this is just like a matte um, product, like a dry matte. And it just adds sort of like brightness to your face. I look like I'm in a tribe, okay. Oh. I'm just blending this up with my Morphe G2 by the way. The brightness that gives. I was gonna do a separate video on these, but I feel like the time has passed, so. I'm just showing you what they look like in use. It has like a pinky tinge to this dandelion stuff, um, which is just really good for brightening the under eyes, cancels up the blue tones. I'm gonna use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Paws powder to set in the eye. Just taking the um, shade from the Morphe palette, the teal shade. Benefits do the hula, which is a liquid bronzer. Take like two pumps of that. Set the rest of my face, I'm gonna be using the NYX HD Virgin Powder. And then I'm gonna take Benefit Hula, the powder version. Just take it on a dual foam brush and just start to carve out those cheekbones. For the contour, I'm going to be using my Cap Von D Shade Light Palette and I'm going to be using a mixture of the two lighter shades. And then I'm just going to take the middle shade from the palette and just go down the sides of my nose. Then I'm going to take the light shades this part, I've already hit pan on the other one right now. Oh. Then I'm taking my Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter and placing this on top of my cheekbones.
just using more Van NYX HD powder for underneath the contour. I'll be using my Clinique High Impact Mascara. This is a mini size. Mini. You just know I'm a good day. I don't know whether to put like little orange dots as well. Guys, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take the NYX Vivid Brights orange liner and I'm just gonna. I just place some orange dots just to add some more finesse you know. okay for lashes I'm gonna be using the primer lash number 910 they look an awful lot like house and lashes iconic to me so I'm gonna be using these I got like an old set but this is just like what they look like in the pack All of them. For lips, I'm going to be using the Kylie um, Jenner Dolce K lip liner. Okay, then I'm going to go in with Mac Will lipstick. And then I'm going to go in with Mac Peach Star. Lipstick, which is just like more of a peachy light nude. Some lip gloss from Maybelline. This is in the shade Coffee Kiss. Take this Makeup Revolution like cream shadow. I've used it a few times in my tutorials. I'm just gonna take some and put it on the inner corner. I'm also going to add a bit of brow bone highlight. This is just the um, like icy pink shade from the Anastasia palette. It's called Vermeer. There guys, that is the end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and learned something. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you are not already. Give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. And let me know what you want to see next. So yeah, until next time guys, I will see you soon. Bye. Doggy style. Giving you mermaid vibes.